Okay, so I live in Ireland. I live on like the southern tip of Ireland. And I can't just run to the store and buy the things I'd like to buy. I pretty much have to buy everything online, especially things that come from the United States. Um, I saw this blade, this glue line rip blade, and I was so excited to buy it. I bought it online. I had it shipped here. I paid customs on it. I paid Irish tax on it, which basically doubled the price of the blade. It, I think it cost me the equivalent of $120 to get this blade uh, to my house. And I got it home and I noticed it had a 5 8 arbor. And I was like, oh no, I didn't even think to check that. My table saw has a 30 millimeter arbor. I called a machine shop. It's like an engineering machine shop. And they said they could do this. Actually, I didn't even call them. I just brought it to them. And they opened it up on a CNC machine. It is, that's one measurement. I've taken a few. It's pretty close. I've gotten it to say exactly 30 and I've measured some other saw blades I have that have a uh, 30 and 30 millimeter arbor and they all measure about the same as this. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I have to find out if they put it exactly on center. So I'm going to put this in my machine, my table saw and start it up and see if it <laughs> rips itself apart or if it's actually on center. Okay, so I've got the new blade in there. I dropped it all the way down. Um, I figured maybe if, if something goes wrong, that'll be the safest thing for me. So uh, I've got to admit, like, I'm a little terrified to turn this thing on, but here we go. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. So there you have it. If uh, if you have a, a table saw blade and you need the arbor hole opened up, you can take it to a machine shop with a CNC and they can do it. He actually told me they can even make them smaller. I don't know what they do. They fill in the hole somehow. But uh, anyways, I'm so happy. Okay, I may as well try the blade out real quick. It's uh, It says it's good for glue line rips on one inch thick stock. I have this piece of eight quarter walnut that I milled up. I've got one good edge and I've got one rough edge. Um, I asked around online and people said they've used this blade to cut two inch stock and it works perfect. So I'm just gonna start there because that's what I have on hand, but I'm really excited to see how it does. So it's definitely a smooth cut. Um, there's a little bit of, looks like burning 
up here, right where I first started the cut, but it feels smooth. Like there's no like a lip or ridge or anything. Definitely a nice cut. I've got this piece of cherry. Um, it's all milled up. It's got good edges. It's not exactly the same thickness as the walnut. But this is the edge that just came off of that glue line rip blade. There's no gap. Flip it over. <laughs> it's better than I get with the planer. 